It's called GID. It's called GID. It's called GID. See, how do you win a league? You win a league. Of course, you need quality. You need talent. You need all these things. But one of the key things of winning a league, you need a squad. Yes, yeah, squad. Squads win leagues because you've got to carry three umbrellas. So when you go into a league, it's not about an umbrella. You carry three umbrellas for six rainy days. Because you don't know what's going to happen. You can't assume other guy will, will be fit for the whole season. You can't assume that Saka is going to be fit for the whole season. And when certain things happen, you're going to know how to react. You see, this is the name of the game. 11 v 11, Arsenal probably win that game. I believe Arsenal win that game. But similar to when Rice got that red card, and now with Saliba, you can't keep making these decisions. And you can't keep making these brick decisions that puts your teams in these situations. So Arsenal only have themselves to blame. Because when you're a man down, especially away from home, in the Premier League, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. Because a drawing, you're going up against 115. 115 ain't nothing to play with. That's bold Catalonia and ain't nothing to play with. So when you're going up against 115, you cannot afford these mistakes. And Saliba, this is his first red card of his whole career. And it's just unfortunate that, especially when you need to keep up the momentum, you've got the red card here. And this is what it is. The best of us make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But when you're trying to go up against 115, this ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. And you see, for, you see, and you see, people used to insult one another say, look, man, why are we assuming that Arsenal are going to be the other guys in for the title this season? Because I'm going to get something afterwards, but what little bro has to understand is big, big bro still exists. Big bro is big bro is here. I, we're not here for a project. So what little bro needs to understand is you made a huge mistake. You had two great chances to win the league and you messed up. Arsenal should be two-time league winners. 100%. They were good enough. They were right there. They should be two-time Premier League winners because they should have won twice last season. And this assumption that, oh my gosh, we, we got close the last two times. We're going to say, what's up? Look at what has happened right now. Because the reality is, is this. These are two very important players for Arsenal. E extremely important players. Odegaard is the captain. He's the Geppetto. He's the puppeteer. Saka, my gosh, goals assist. The amount of value he brings to the attack is huge. So... Even when 11 v 11, not having both of them, 11 v 11, that's what still had because it's away from home. Not having both of them and it's 10 men, my Lord in heaven. Who are you relying on? That's Bomber's Jesus from the favelas? <laughs> so, I get it, but how did I start this video? Squad, 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 squad. So if any of your major stars are missing, we have guys to come in to come and say what's up. So the guys on the bench, the guys in the catering staff, the guys that clean the boots, the, the guys freaking near Holloway Road. The guys that sweep the, the, the streets of Holloway Road, they're ready to, to say, say what's up. But the reality here is this, this, this doesn't look good for Arsenal. It doesn't look good for Arsenal because you're now seeing how reliant they are on both of these players. And what you never want to have in a team, of course you must have star players. You can never be reliant because what you want is we are a team. Yes, we have our star guys, but when our star guys go, our recruits have to come in to say what's up. Now, I'm not sure that much. I don't know what would have happened. I believe Aston would have won if it was 11 v 11. I believe that's what could have, could have ha happened. And if they had these, these two players, maybe they'd have gotten a draw or, a, or a something. But you can't keep making these dumb decisions. Of course, there was a deserved red. But... This is one. This, so, so this is this, this, this the nature of this video here. Did Arsenal mess up those last two seasons? So the fact that they did not win the league those last two seasons, did they mess up? Why are we assuming that? Because I'm seeing a pattern here. Rice, Saliba, the other guy injury, Saka coming from injury. 
Maybe the football gods is telling your boy Arteta that you messed up. You messed up those last two seasons. And what do the football gods always tell us? Never assume. Oh, we came close. Oh, man, we're the guys. It's awesome. 115. Awesome. Man City. We're the two guys. And what does everyone say? Oh, it's a horse race. It's a horse race. Oh, forget about Liverpool and forget about Big Big Bro. I'm sorry. Liverpool are probably still in this. Big Bro are in this, bro. Big Bro are still up in this piece. And we will see what happens on Sunday when Liverpool play against Big Bro. But what the football guys are telling you that when, when Big Bro was sleeping, and we got destroyed internally, and that's and the government tried to screw us over. You had a chance to win it. When Big Bro was asleep, you had the chance to win it. But the fact that you did not take your opportunity to win the league when Big Bro was finishing 12th, led by Quidditch and that's Bomas Francis. Because I'm telling you right now, Arsenal are right now, amazing team. And Ateta is a very good coach. This is a really good team. And I'll always say this is a really good team and one of the best teams to watch. And I like what Ateta has done as a coach. And he has really improved upon his coaching methods and was seeing him improve as a coach. So I will always say that this team is not winning this league. They're not winning. They're not winning this league. And I think what you're going to see this season, mark my words, I told you, there's a reason why I'm the good analyst. Mark my, my words. Don't think Arsenal going to finish second. <laughs> How many times have we said three seasons in a, row, in a row it's been the same two teams and only like a one, two point differential? Look at what Liverpool are doing. And Big Bro is saying also because Big Bro has, has the, the, the best player in the league called Jermaine. So Big Bro have the definitive best footballer in the league. And look at what Amber Rose is doing with Liverpool. So my thing here is, and I'm going to repeat this thing, Arsenal, you should have won the league those last two seasons. And what we're seeing here is the other guard injury, the soccer injury, the red cards. Bro, so this is his first red card of the, of the season. First, no, sorry, first red card of his career. First red card of his career, what happens? You lose 2 0 to Bournemouth, a team who you are expected to beat home and away. Like, if you are a team trying to go for the title, you are expected to beat Bournemouth home and away. So, let, look, mathematically, oh my gosh, we've got a long way to go. We've got a long way to go. This loss doesn't mean that Arsenal have lost the league. But guys, you see, there's a reason why I'm good on this. I'm not, I'm not here for mathematics. I'm here to give you that, that real. Mathematically, of course, Arsenal can still win the league. It's way early. We're not even near halfway through the season. I'm seeing patterns here. And what I'm telling you right now, mark this right now, mark my words, Arsenal not winning this league. And I'm seeing enough to say that the football gods are telling Ateta and they're punishing Ateta that the league was in your hands. Twice! Twice! League was in your freaking hands. And he said, no, we're going to give it to your boy Pepini. And Pepini said, oh, thanks. Cheers. <laughs> cool. <laughs> gracias. Mucho gracias. It's a long way to go. And remember, and, see, and this is the key thing. There are much more difficult. Oh. Want to get real? Who do they have next? Liverpool. Who wants they have in that game? Saliba. It's a long way to go, but mark my words. Arsenal messed up not winning the league twice in the last two seasons.